What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Community Voices. Today, we've got a very special guest. I had to write down the accomplishments. You got five time NBA All Star, three time All NBA, four time All NBA defense, most improved Olympic gold medalist, Jimmy Butler, Jimmy Buckets. Appreciate you <laughs> tapping in with us. Without a doubt, man, I appreciate you having me. Cool. So let's get into it. Um, take us through the journey of being like, you know, 30th pick into multiple All-Stars, leading your team to NBA Finals, or NBA selections? I mean, everybody has their, their own journey to get to where they get to. You know, everybody goes through their own things. Mine's no different. My story's just a little bit different. I mm -hmm. want to change it for the world, as I always say. Um, but it's, it's really just the hard work and dedication and, and the love for your craft. I think I've, I've gained that, and it, it consistently just grows. Um, in my heart, in my mind, in my soul. Like, I really love the game of basketball. I really love to compete. So from 30th pick to where I am now, I think that had a lot to do with it. For sure. It's all about, you know, what you could do yourself. You put yeah. in work and put in that grind. So now you get to reap the rewards. Uh, so you're basically just like, you know, when people say diversify your portfolio, that's basically what you are, like a walk-in diversify portfolio because you have like this big face coffee, you know, yep. you're into the wine, the vineyards, you got the cooking class coming, traveling all over the world. So take us through how those those hobbies of your, how they came into fruition, like what critique your interest? Man, I, I say it all the time and everybody around here says it like, I'm weird, but in a good way. Like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm weird normal in the, in the sense that just because I may make a, a little bit of money, you know, you see my face on TV and on billboards and on commercials. I do the same thing that everybody else does. Just like a lot of other individuals that are in my league or in other professional sports, like really normal. And I, I try to normalize myself um, and let people inside my life as often as I can to let them know like, you know what? I go watch movies, I cook, I burn some stuff, I drink wine, I do everything that you might do. Um, mm -hmm. But I just, I just find a lot of different things interesting just because me growing up, I never knew I would have the chance to do the things that I have the chance to do now. So now I'm just like a kid in a candy shop and I want to see the world. I want to do everything in the world. Um, and so I do it because I'm able to do it. So everything that you just named, I really enjoy wine, mm -hmm. coffee. I'm actually in my mini little coffee shop now in the house. Um, traveling, food, all of that, just to let the world know, let people know, I'm just like you. Exactly. And I think that helps with anybody, really, because you want to be personable as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see you drinking wine like them, you know, traveling like they do, it helps people connect with you as a person. Yeah. I mean, I, I think the, the persona that you see me in on a basketball court is so very different than everyday real life when I'm around my family, when I'm around my friends. Um, I'm not yelling, cussing them out like I would be doing my teammates um, on the court whenever mm -hmm. we're losing or not competing. Um, but that's just basketball. That's just me, like, not worried about anything except for winning and competing. Right. Um, at home, well, I mean, we play dominoes in Jordan all day, chilling. every day. But besides that, I'm just chilling. Yeah. So between what you do on the court and everything you have going on off the court, how important is it for you to like give back to the community and be present? Because you know a lot of people just send money, but I think it's equally important to be there and be visible yeah. for like the kids as well. I mean, I, I put a lot of emphasis on that because it's important, uh, especially with kids. Man, it makes me smile because at one point in time I was a kid, so I know how uh, crucial and how important it is to see those individuals next to you, talking to you, see their face in the community mm -hmm. because uh, they actually look up to you and they want to be you and they want to say what you say. They want to talk the way you talk, walk the way that you walk. Um, and I, I just I just love it. You know, every city that I've been in, um, every city that I've lived in, I've tried to do as much in the community as I can because um, I want to help change the world in so many different ways. Uh, but these kids, I'm telling you, they're, they're the future. They can do whatever they want to do. For sure. um, I implement that all the time. Um, and that's number one for me, man. Like I've, I've been very fortunate to have good people in my life, good role models. And um, I'm just trying to pay that forward. I just wanna, I wanna be there for these kids, I really do. Yeah, paying it forward is very important. If you think about 
the impact you're going to have on like that one child or a bunch of kids and they see yeah. you and just want to emulate what you do like I want to be like Jimmy Butler and then that encourages them to do the same once they get into that position. It's, it's crazy to even hear kids say that because growing up I didn't know that anybody would want to be like me. I was like I'm just as normal as anybody. Um, I mean now you know NBA player but uh, I just want to you know do the right thing, set a great example, and just uh, be the light for them. Because life is hard. Um, sure. And it's really hard for kids. But if I'm if I'm there, you know, along the way, listening to you, listening to your story, mm -hmm. um, and I can feel for you, uh, I think it helps. Especially for kids who come from where you and I come from. So yeah, someone like yourself, who they can relate to, goes a long way. So last question for you. Take us through the work you've been doing with BAM. Like, how did you get connected with them? And I hear that you still work with them to this day. So yeah. tell us about that dynamic. Bam is uh Bam is so legit. I just remember being in Chicago and um, you know, meeting all the counselors, all the kids, and just sitting down and, and hearing their stories. It, it really touched me. And I love Chicago. I go back all the time. I still have houses there, like so much love for that city. And they embraced me like I still play for the Bulls. Um, but those kids, the stories that they were telling me, I was just like, wow, like, I never thought of this. I never had to worry about that. So many people never have to worry about that. And um, even whenever I left, it's, it still touched me because you know that city really, really, really embraced me. Those kids really, really, really embraced me. The BAM the organization really, really, really embraced me. And as much as I can, I try to go back um, you know, whether it be FaceTime with anybody, Zooming now with anybody or showing up in person, my face is there. Um, yeah, a little bit of if my money is there too, but definitely like they, they feel my presence. I've, mm -hmm. I've, I've put my fingerprints on the organization on these kids um, and I will continue to do that, man. I, I love those kids. I love that organization um, and I'll, I'll always be there for them. For sure. And it's different, like we mentioned earlier, being there in person, that energy, and that vibe and those vibrations when you get around someone like yourself, the kids feel that, you know? Yeah, no, they definitely do. And you can tell, like, and I'm I'm just in there to listen. I'm not in there to talk. It's it's not about Jimmy Butler being an NBA player. Yeah. When I'm with them, I'm listening to their stories. And I'm, I'm just trying to understand what they're going through. So, yeah, they're, oh, my God, it's Jimmy. But at the same time, I'm like, yo, he, he's really in here listening he cares. Um, he's here to help. And I, I mean it. That's why I'm there. I'm not even thinking about basketball whenever I'm around these kids. I just want to help them, you know, try to clear that mental uh, block that they may have um, and just listen to their story because they're so interesting. And then they can be so great at so many different things and they don't even know it. But hearing it from me, I'm telling you, it, it just it makes them really believe in themselves a little bit more. Right. Something clicks when they hear that yeah. from Big Bro Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. So it changes for them. Definitely does. So, you know, us at Finish Line and JD, we love the work you're doing. Uh, shout out to Josh for, you know, making this happen as well. So you want to support them and you want to make a nice donation of 20000 uh, 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 Check real quick. You so, can't even fit the whole check in the screen. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Bam, uh, Bam, myself, we really appreciate that, man. That's that's big love. Thank you so much for that. Like these these kids, they're special, along with so many other kids. But yeah, the ones with Bam, man, very very special. Something thank you about the Bam kids. So yeah, thank you, seriously, man. We really appreciate that. Yeah, of course, it's our pleasure. Um, that's the whole purpose of community voices, you know, giving back to the community. Yeah, uplifting voices like yours, so the people who are viewing can educate themselves and you know just learn about what's going on in the community. So, mm. and that's about it. I'll let you have the last words. Uh, I mean, my last words is I just I love these kids, man. I do. Mm -hmm. um, basketball is basketball, but I'm always gonna be who I'm gonna be. I'm always gonna support the kids. I'm always gonna be in the community here in Miami, um, in California, um, in Chicago, back in Houston. Um, I just want to help. I really do want to help these kids and let them know that they can be whatever they want to be. We don't listen to anybody except for yourself right. and people that are telling you positive things. That's what I'm, that's what I'm all about. Uh, thank you so much for that donation. I can't thank you enough. 
I'm, yeah. I guarantee Bam is going to go nuts. Um, but we really, truly do appreciate y'all, man. We really do. Yeah, I know that 25 will go a long way as well. So um, you heard it from the man himself, Jimmy Butler. Make sure I go check out Bam and support Please. you if you can. Please. And, yeah, that's a wrap. Appreciate you again. All right, my man. Appreciate you. Hi, Jim. Thank you. Appreciate it all. Yep.